multiplication using partial product. This is a common core standard. Multiply a whole number of up to four digits by a one digit whole number using strategies based on place value. The objective. By the end of this lesson, I will be able to multiply a one digit number by a three digit number using the partial product method of multiplication. Let's look at the term partial product. Partial means only part, it's not whole. Product is the answer you get when you multiply numbers together. Because you are multiplying many parts, you're doing a partial answer. Let's look at a simple problem, 8 times 3 equals 24. If you'll notice, the 8 is in the ones place. This is the value of the ones place, is 8. And we have three groups of 8, which means we have 24 altogether. Let's look at another problem. 82 times 3. The 2 is in the ones place. So go over to the right where we see the name ones, and you're going to write the problem 2 times 3. We start with the ones place. We write 2 times 3 equals 6. Next, we're going to move over to the tens place. The 8 is in the tens place. If you have 8 tens, what's the value of that? If you said 80, you are correct. Now we're going to do 8 in the tens place times 3. Finish the problem. There is a shortcut that you can do when you are multiplying a number when they have zeros at the end. Let me show you. If you do 8 times 3, which is 24, you'll write 24. Then you're going to tack on that 0. Did you notice I used the 0 from the 80 and I tacked it on to the end? We don't say add it to 24 because we're not really adding it. We are tacking it on to the end. Now, behind this screen, I added a hundreds place. So now we're going to do the same process, but we're looking at the hundreds place this time. So if we look at a two in the hundreds place, if you have two hundreds, what is the value? If you said 200, you are correct. Then we need to finish the problem. We still need to say times three. So we're going to write times three. Let's use our trick again. Use the first digit of both numbers. Two times three is six. And how many zeros do we have within that problem to tack on? One, two. We are going to tack on two zeros. Now our next step is to rewrite these numbers, the answers, to rewrite them and put them in order of their place value. So the first one we're going to do is a 6. Then we're going to add 240. Make sure the ones place is lined up. The last number is 600. So the two's in the one in the hundreds place, so we're going to put the 6 there. And then we have 0 tens and 0 ones. The next step is to add these values up. 6 plus nothing is 6. 4 plus nothing is 4. And 2 plus 6 is 8. The answer to the problem is 846. This actually is a very simple process. You just have to make sure that you get the ones, whoops, the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place and write down their values. Let's try another one. Make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil and you're going to practice these on your own. Go ahead and start and you can pause the video and then when you're done doing the problem, go ahead and restart the video, hit pause again and I will continue on and you'll be able to check your answers. Go ahead and pause the video now and you may write down the answer. Okay, let's take a look and see what you did. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the ones place. You always start with the ones place and then you move to the tens and then the hundreds. So if we look at the ones place, we have a five 
times 3. Now since the 5 is in the 1's place, its value is 5. So we're going to write 5 times 3, and go ahead and write the answer, is 15. The next one we're going to look at is the 10's place. There is a 4 in the 10's place. If you have 4 10's, its value is 40, and you're going to multiply it times 3. Don't forget that trick I showed you. Let me turn my arrow. If you take the 4 times the 3 and write that down, that is 12, and now you're going to tack on this 0. So 40 times 3 is 120. Now we still have hundreds to do. We have a 6 in the hundreds, so that means its value is 600. We're going to multiply that times the 3. And if you remember our trick, 6 times 3 is 18. And then we have one, two zeros that we're going to tack on to the end. So it's 1,800. Now the last step is to take these digits that we just came, or these numbers that we just came up with, and we are going to write them down separately. So the first one we're going to take is 15, and then we're going to write 120, so the 1 goes in the hundreds place, 2 in the tens, then a 0 in the ones, and then the last answer that we got, the last product, was 1,800. I don't have a thousands yet, so I got to scoot over a little bit. There's 1,800. Now I'm going to add these together. 5 plus nothing is 5. Always start in the ones place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 8 is 9. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So the answer to the above problem is 1,935. Okay, if you made a mistake in this problem, you might want to back up the video a little bit and redo this problem with the video. If you feel comfortable with it, let's go to the next problem. Okay, here's another problem. Write down 836 times 7 and then pause the video, do your work, and when you're ready to check, go ahead and hit pause again or play. Alright, so we're going to look at the values. You always start with the ones place, and we're going to write 6 times 7, and I'll do that in red so it matches, and 6 times 7 is 42. The next place we're going to move to the left is the tens place. We have a 3 in the tens place, that makes the value 30. Having pen issues here, times 7. If you look at 3 times 7, that's 21. There's one zero, so you can tack the zero on the end. The last one is the hundreds place. If you have eight hundreds, what's the value? If you said 800, you are correct. 800 times 7. Use the trick. Do 7 times 8, which is 56 and tack on the two zeros that you see in the 800. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to rewrite those numbers. We have 42, 210, and 5,600. We're going to add those together. 2 plus nothing is 2, 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 6 is 8, and 5 plus nothing is 5. So the answer to 836 times 7 is 5,852. Okay, here's another one for you to practice. Pause the video, do the work, and then hit play again to check your work. Okay, once again we're going to start with the ones place. We have 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Move over to the tens place. 4 tens is equal to 40. 
times 3. Remember the trick. Do the two digits first. 4 times 3 is 12. And then it has one zero in that problem, so you're going to tack on a zero. And now we're moving to the hundreds. A 2 in the hundreds place, its value is 200. Let me write that down here because it's not working there. Times 3. Do the 2 times the 3, which is 6. And now tack on those two zeros, which is 600. Now we're going to add those up. I'll rewrite them. 18 plus 120 plus 600. We add those together. We have 8 plus nothing is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 1 plus 6 is 7. So the answer is 738. Okay, one more. In the ones place, we have a 9. So we have 9 times 4, which is equal to 36. In the tens place, we have a 2 in the tens place, which is, makes its value 20. Times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Tack on that 0, 80. Then the hundreds place, we have an 8 in the hundreds place. Its value is 800 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Tack on these two zeros, and it's 3,200. Now we're going to rewrite those numbers. We have 36, 80, 3,200. You have to really make sure you line those numbers up correctly. 6 plus nothing is 6. 3 plus 8 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 plus nothing is 3. So our answer to this problem is 3,316. Okay, your objective today was I am able to multiply a one-digit number by a three-digit number using the partial product method of multiplication. If you struggled with this lesson, you might want to go back and watch it again and continue to practice.